Hey kids, I'm Uncle Matt. Today I'm going to show you my Raspberry Pi home built computer. Uh, it took me about a week and a half to put this together. It's a Raspberry Pi built right into a, an old car screen that I had laying around in the garage here. Uh, a Blackberry Playbook case that I had to put on the bottom. It acts as a stand. And I will switch over to show you how it works and how everything looks and how great this project was to build. So have a good time, stick around, and check it out. Okay, so this is my Raspberry Pi mini computer. I built it out of a 12 volt uh, car DVD player screen. This is the screen here. I basically run the Raspberry Pi off of a 5 volt lead inside the screen wasn't very hard to find most screens run at 5 volt 12 volt or not so uh, I put everything together uh, I also used a an old Blackberry playbook case because the Raspberry Pi kind of stuck out of the back of the screen a little bit and just super glued it on it uh, it took about two seconds and it actually acts as a stand for the screen <clears throat> Because the Raspberry Pi is actually powered by the screen, gives me the ability to just turn it on using the on button. And there it is, I'm running Raspbian uh, Jesse. I have uh, an old Bluetooth Mac keyboard that I'm using with it and uh, a little mouse that I bought for like three bucks. I've got Aircrack Suite on there so I can actually do penetration testing anywhere I am. Uh, you can plug it into a car because it is a car screen so it works with car voltages and it's actually pretty good for the internet as well. Sound is actually really good on this. Uh, you can run it right from the controls on the screen. You can watch YouTube videos in full screen. It's it does everything a regular Raspberry Pi computer would do. So I have an old Apple Bluetooth keyboard that I had lying around. Uh, I bought a RF mouse for about three dollars at one of those liquidation stores. So it didn't actually cost much money to get this up and going. You can use uh, an RF keyboard too if you want. There's two USB ports right under there by the power port and you can plug it in through there. I actually have the RF dongle for the mouse plugged in to there and I didn't think about taking it out before I glued the case on. So you may want to consider, you know, just using that mouse. Everything works great. Sound works through uh, pretty much everything. Here, I'll go to a video on YouTube here and just show you how it loads. Thank you, Jim. And good so morning, sound Dr. actually is controlled by the button. Works perfectly. I basically just uh, soldered the sound from the monitor speakers into the Pi itself. Pretty easy to do. A little bit of soldering involved, not that bad. You can actually watch these full screen and they, they play just, just fine. Of course, I did install the air crack suite, so if you're good with your uh, command line, then you can basically open up and do anything you want. 